This is the guided practice for 9.3, and we're doing uh, areas of a trapezoid. And a trapezoid has a nice formula, area equals one half times your height, and then you parentheses base one plus base two. Okay, so I have my two bases here, this base and this base. They're different from a parallelogram. If it was a parallelogram, they'd be the exact same, like either 6 and 6 or 11 and 11, but they're different, and that's why they're a trapezoid. Um, okay, so let's uh, add some things, and the height is 8. So it's 1 half equals, or no, A, area equals 1 half times 8 times base 1, we'll call 11 base 1, plus base 2 is 6. So let's do the parentheses first. Area equals 1 half times 8 parentheses 17. So it's 8 times 17. Now I'm going to do my multiplication in order. Area equals 1 half times 8 is 4 times 17. And 4 times 17 is 68 meters, and it's the area, so it's 68 meters squared, okay, all right, let's go to number two, get our formula, one half, area equals one half times height, times my base 1 plus my base 2. Okay, so I know my height is 8. So area equals 1 half times 8, and then this and this are my bases. 15.6 plus 7. 15.6 plus 7 equals 22.6. Let me bring everything else down. The rest is just multiplication, so I'll do it in order. 1 half times 8 is 4 times 22.6. And 4 times 22.6 is 90.4. And we're talking about feet, and it's the area, so it's squared. So we'll go 90.4 feet squared. Go on to number three. A trapezoid has an area of 15. Okay, so 15 is my area equals one half the height. If the bases are four feet and six feet, what's the height? So I don't know the height, but I do know bases four and six. Okay, so 15 equals one half h times 10. Now I'm going to times the five and the half and the 10. Do these two. 15 equals 5h. Now I want just the h. I divide each side by 5 and it gives me 3 equals h. 3 equals h. So my height is 3 feet. All right, let's do number four. This will be the last one. Ooh, hockey, cool. In the National Hockey League, goaltenders can play the puck behind the goal line only in a trapezoid-shaped area, as shown. Find the area of the trapezoid. Okay, so we have, here is my trapezoid. We have our two bases, 18 and 28, and we have our height of 11. So area equals one half times the height is 11 parentheses plus my two bases. When I add those together, I get 46, and that's times 11 times one half equals my area. So instead of one half, I'm going to put 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 11 
equals, and then times uh, 46. 46 equals 253. My area equals 253. We're talking about feet. So it's 253, oops, 253 feet squared, so that's the area. All right, hopefully you uh, got how to do a the area of a trapezoid. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but uh, go ahead and try some independent practice.